All right, YouTube. <laughs> Maybe things aren't quite as dire, but clearly they're screwy. And here, I'll, I'll get into it. I found a lawnmower, brand new, in a town close by, so close that they're going to free deliver a riding lawnmower to me on the 1st. And <laughs> it's awesome. So supposedly, and we'll see, supposedly, according to the website, they have 18 on the shelf. So I called Home Depot. I said, hey, got some lady in the gardening department. I said, hey, I'd like to order this lawnmower, pay you with a credit card and have it delivered, please. You have to do it on the website. I said, well, look. I don't understand why I can't just give you the number and you set up a delivery and we can be done with this. That Home Depot does it all the time. Like, oh, well, you got to go on the website. I said, okay, well, can you walk and go check inventory and make sure you got 18 of these sitting there before I put my money in your computer? She goes, oh, well, I'm outside with the plants. I hung up the phone. You don't want my money, fine. I hung up the phone. So I got on the gadget and I hate doing this. And I went through the process, put in all the fucking information, and this gets me really angry. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but when I gotta work with a gadget like that and put nut name and password and all this bullshit in there, it always makes me very hostile. <laughs> so anyway, so I did all that nonsense. I got it inputted. It says they're gonna deliver on Friday. So we'll see. Friday comes and it doesn't show up, I'm gonna be mighty pissed. I can't get a straight answer from the peeps at the store, so we'll see if the gadget does me right. I don't like depending on a gadget for shit like that. It was almost three grand, 2,800 bucks delivered to, oh, and anybody interested, it's made by Cub. Cub is a brand name. Product made in the United States. Here, I'm running my mouth. We don't make nothing in this country, but I guess we make these lawn... Well, excuse me. We assemble them in the United States. But the problem is, I got one that's got a 46-inch deck. That means it'll cut almost four feet wide, so I can get a lot done. It's 23 horsepower. It's pretty strong, so it's going to last me, right? It's big enough to get a lot of stuff done. And they make a bitchin' snow blower attachment that goes on the front of that thing. The best price for that attachment was thirteen hundred bucks. That's fucking spendy, man. So, because that drives the whole unit. What twenty eight, thirty eight, for almost five grand when it's all said and done. But this the snow thrower unit has its own motor, and the blades in it are sick. It is the best looking snow thrower I've seen. So I was stoked. I was like, fuck it. I'll drop 1300 bucks. I call him up. Sorry. We don't have it no more. And we're not making any more of those. So chances are that blower, something to do with that blower, parts of it come out of China and they can't get them. So they can't manufacture them no more. So she said to call all your local dealers and see if someone's got one on the shelf. So I called someone local. And they said they found the same problem. They're trying to get throwers for the front of Cubs and they can't get them. But they got throwers for Husqvarna and they're trying to find a way to adapt the Husqvarna thrower on the front of a Cub. I said, dude, I will be your guinea pig, your R&D, your Huckleberry. I don't give a fuck. Let's work this out. So I said, I'd rather spend my money with someone that I can work with face to face than order a, a piece of equipment from on the other side of the planet somewhere and have it show up all bent up and don't work, right? You know, this guy's an hour away. If I got a problem, I can go talk to him. But I called a bunch of places and nobody had any lawnmowers. The lawnmower I purchased from Home Depot delivered to the house, he would have sold me all set up, ready to go for 300 bucks cheaper than what I paid. So I paid up by getting it at Home Depot, over 300 bucks more than I should have if I would have went local to this guy. Nice thing is, I got something coming. I got somebody to talk to about a, a snow thrower or if I got to get a separate snow thrower 
from the lawnmower. I'd rather have one piece of equipment than two. It just makes more sense, right? Change out an attachment's easy. But whatever. I'm making progress, motherfucker. And so, yeah, I guess you can find a lawnmower. So I guess inventory is not as tight as I thought, but it is tightening up and a lot of shit you can't get no more. And the guy that I talked to about the snow thrower that's local, he said that they have two lawnmowers just like I purchased on its way, have been on its way for six weeks. And they said, oh, it should show up anytime. Well, if it's waiting for a chip and there are no chips to put in there to fucking make the ignition work or whatever, right? I told him, I said, dude, you may never see those mowers. And he said, I know. So clearly, shit's not good. But it's not completely blown out yet. That's why I'm saying now's the time to prepare. Now's the time to get your appliances. Now's the time to get a roof, a furnace, any other thing that you might need to CYA. Cover your ass, homie. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Go get you a lawnmower. Johnny did. Hopefully, it'll show up on the first. <laughs> Much love and respect as always. You know how I roll. We'll talk soon. Peace.